Hello, I'm Dr. Herman. Welcome back to this video about your chronic condition. And what I'm going to share with you in this video is about a commonly used or previously commonly used herbicide that is in our water supply, it's still in the soil, it, it doesn't just disappear because they're not spraying it anymore if they stopped it about a decade ago. And this is filmed in 2012 right now. And there's this pesticide herbicide called Paraquat. And Paraquat is a free radical inducing agent commonly used as an herbicide. I have found this in patients when I'm doing this kinesiology testing. I found it in patients in my office. Look at this information here. And what I'm going to read that's really important is highlighted in blue here. Okay. So Paraquat or PQ had markedly elevated the mRNA expression of several pro-inflammatory cytokines. Let's stop a minute. It elevated pro-inflammatory cytokines. What does that mean to us? When you have an inflammatory condition attacking your thyroid or your nerves or your stomach or your brain or your bones or your intestines or your liver, that inflammatory condition is caused by overexpression of pro-inflammatory chemicals in your body that's produced by your immune system. And these chemicals are called cytokines. That may be a different word for you. I'm aware of that. So let's go over this again. Your immune system, when it gets stressed by various toxins or stresses or stressors in your environment, your immune system produces these toxic chemicals called pro-inflammatory cytokines. These inflammatory chemicals, cytokines, produce more inflammation. So this herbicide produced markedly elevated pro-inflammatory chemicals. More importantly, this paraquat, this herbicide, had caused a marked up regulation of interleukin-17, interleukin-17b, C, E, and F. Also, this herbicide called paraquat has upregulated the expression of TH17 promoting cytokines. What does that mean? I'm going to show you in another picture. But TH17 is like the bomb went off in the body. The major explosion of inflammation went off. And they're showing that this herbicide produced this bomb expression of this major inflammatory immune reaction in the body. Like somebody just set, pressed the button and this bomb went off in your system. Lower concentrations showed it's to have a, a potential to alter the immune response towards pro-inflammatory profiles as that of TH17. What does this all mean? Well, in your immune system, as I've talked on other videos, and I can go in great detail, there's another video on YouTube. If you write this down and type into YouTube, autoimmune disease dash ask Dr. Herman, you'll see me in a 22 minute video going in great detail, drawing out the whole immune uh, pattern and what's going on and what you need to understand about that. But let's get this really simple, that we can have these immune expressions where we have invaders and we have these T cells and B cells and natural killer cells. Our police, our SWAT team, our army, our Navy, our Air Force Marines of our immune system are coming in to try to get rid of the bacteria or the parasite or the virus or this ingestion or digestion of this chemical that they sprayed on the food that you ate that you thought tasted so good. And it can cause this inflammatory immune response that makes it like putting fuel on a fire. We call that TH17. Again, I go in great detail on YouTube. If you go there and type in autoimmune disease dash ask Dr. Herman, and that dash means a little minus sign. Watch that video. I go into it in great detail. This is not the time or the place in this, this video. I want to show you that you can have a pesticide that was sprayed on your food that you never knew, you never tasted. It was odorless, it was tasteless. And it can and has been proven to cause a market elevation of pro-inflammatory chemicals and pro-inflammatory TH17, which is putting fuel on the fire in the immune system and making your body hurt worse, making your condition worse. So we've got to find out if you still have this uh, if this pesticide has been saturated into your tissues, and if it has, we've got to remove it. And there are certain practices, certain skills I've developed over the past couple of years to figure out how to find if you have this pesticide in your tissues and exactly what natural ingredient will, we will need to remove this toxic element that's sitting in your fat tissue, sitting in your muscles, sitting in your liver. And it can be done. 
be aware. It's not all about a certain food sensitivity, and it's not because your doctor's not giving you the right medication. You need to some, find somebody who does. There's other things in the environment that can be hurting you, okay? Thank you for letting me share this with you. Replay this again if it seems to be overhead. Watch it a couple of times. It took me four years to pick up this about the immune system. You can't pick it all up in just two minutes, okay? Thank you for letting me share this with you. There's more to come and more videos. Thank you very much.